to fit the engage unit into the tank. Unfortunately, the the holes in this don't agree with the holes in the tank, so I've had to re-drill them and put some new nut certs in. And also, the um, tank unit is too long, so you have to shorten it and fasten it with a connector. And hopefully, that now goes in. I'll put a bit of Loctite on this because I don't really want this coming loose in the. Um... Now, pop a couple of screws in. And make sure the tank unit, send the unit moves in the tank by rocking the tank up and down. You should hear it clonk. gap too tight otherwise it won't shut. That's looking quite nice. The other door to fit and the windscreen now. finished doing the handbrake mechanism. You can see the branching bracket there. That's the cross beam. Modified the uh, mounting onto the cross beam so I get a, an adjustable uh, mechanism. It also balances the... Uh, I can balance one side to the other. Now I've got the fuel pumps mounted. And two facet red top pumps with um, filter pressure regulators there as well. <coughs> a few, uh, quite a few hours of rather unpleasant work drilling out and filing the um, holes for the uh, for these little nut certs. It's a long job. fiberglass the um, rear end where the old light was flat and the next bit after that is to put some inserts in I'll show you that on the other side and now you can see the rear lights now molded into the shell Thank you. 
first run under power. We now have a slight problem. I'm running it up to see if the fans worked and as you can probably see the water dripping off there. Yes, the um, header tank is leaking like a sieve. So the fitting door lock switch. If they're in the right position is fairly straightforward. But if they're not, it's extremely difficult. Putting the bonnet catches on now. Um, that one's on. We've got to li line up uh, where to put the hole in the bonnet. So we'll drop it down. Measure from here to where the hole is. Drill the hole and um, hope it's in the right place. Uh, it's around. test station and uh, in this shed over here you can see the GT40.
find out um, what needs doing and Andrew gets to check it. Brake testing going on. Well, it passed the um, IVA test and now we're uh, thinking about putting the engine in. And there's the 302 engine, which looks really nice. Looks apparently new in, inside. And I'm modifying the sump because the sump won't fit the car because of a chassis member. And I also want to make it um, less shallow. This is the sump, as you can see, large wings being added to it. It's also been made only six inches deep, which will fit uh, without clouting the speed bumps. When I welded the <coughs> Granada sump, I did it with me. There were more leaks than I've ever seen in anything. So this time we're relying on the good old gas. Right, now welded the sump up, we've now added the baffle with a gate in it. So when you brake hard, the oil can't go through there. When you accelerate, it comes back. So any oil that spills over the front has to come back here. We've now got the V8 engine installed. As you can see, air conditioning compressor in place, the bracketry done. Um, some quite involved water piping here, heating down to the bottom. MSD ignition, and we're now trying to assemble this jumble of pipes to um, make the exhaust system. That's the one side which I've worked on. And now I'm going to work on the other side. These bits I made earlier go on there. This is a powerful Do some cutting and welding now. Yeah, a bit, a bit Craig doing some work here. Uh, the left hand lane 